it was as good as we could have hoped. Um, the women, you know, we had one or actually we had zero women that that really raced. Um, you know, most of them were tempoing. Um, a few had raced last week, and uh, I put him in the group with some of the varsity women just to carry them along, and, and the race went perfect. They ran right around 19 minutes, which is, uh, you know, just the effort we were looking for. And uh, they're going to race back-to-back -back weekends coming up at the end of the month with Coast to Coast and Paul Short. So we wanted to make sure we didn't get three races in in a, in a short time period. So um, they did exactly what I asked them to do, and, and they were perfect. The effort looked right. Uh, men, same thing. Um, the effort was right. And everybody had a different effort that was prescribed to them, and they all kind of stayed within the effort I wanted. And, and we had some good debuts for the year. Kyle Cluder had a really nice race, and that was a race for him. He wasn't tempoing. And, and Drew Everett, one of the freshmen, um, you know, for his first 8K, he ran really, really well. I think he was in the top seven or eight overall. Um, so we're really pleased with those guys, and uh, you know, the effort for the other guys was exactly what we wanted. So we're in good shape moving forward. Part of this, I imagine, is yeah, give them some work, but also let them see the championship course. How important is it that they get to see it today? Yeah, you know, it's, it's really important because as much as we run up here, we don't run this exact course, men or women. You know, we run on all the trails up here, but we don't run it in, in that particular order. And we never are out here on the fields where, you know, a good two miles of the race is for the men and a good mile and a half of the race is for women. So just getting a feel for it. Um, you know, there's nothing like going to a home conference meeting, not going to course. So it was nice. And then uh, for our staff, it's nice to, in our track kids that are volunteering uh, to work this meet in the, in the, in the conference championship, it's, it's nice for them to get a feel of what they have to do at the, uh, at the conference championship and what we really have to get done and make sure that everything is in order for the conference championship. So it's a good dress rehearsal for them and for, for the staff. For being two plus weeks into the season, are they where you want them to be in their development during the year? Yeah, I think we're exactly where, where we hoped we were. And, you know, I don't really know until after the race and I find out who felt really good and who felt not so good. And, you know, all of our varsity guys that we ran, we did hold out a couple, Harry and Chris Alfond, you know, didn't weren't in the race at all. But, um, you know, the guys that we did have in there, they said it felt really easy. So, you know, that's what we're looking for this time of the year. If they can run 25, 10 to 25, 40, feeling very controlled and relaxed, then we're, we're exactly where, where we want to be. Paul's the defending champion. Um, he's kind of the one that everybody in the, in the conference measures themselves against. Are you happy with where he is in his progress this year? Yeah, yeah, and he didn't get to do as much quality work probably over the summer as, as he's done in past years. Um, you know, we had one little tiny setback, so we've just been real careful. With him going into his fifth year, we wanted to make sure that we did everything right. And uh, he's felt awesome in every workout and race for the last three weeks. So uh, he's right where we wanted to be. And, you know, with the goal of finishing the top 30 at the NCAAs, you know, we want to make sure that we're, you know, that's 10 weeks away. We want to make sure that we're not working him too hard here. And um, he was controlled enough not to run too hard here. You know, even though probably could have run away with it, he, he ran within himself in the effort that had, we had agreed upon ahead of time, which is, uh, you know, hopefully a fifth year is mature, and, and he's definitely mature that way. On the women's side, Ellen Morris, I think, is the fourth across the finish line. It's been a couple of years since she's really been healthy. You've got to be happy with what you saw from her. Yeah, and, and, you know, she really ran a controlled race, too. I mean, her last mile was, I think, 40 seconds faster than her first. So, and the same with that group of girls that ran 19 minutes, I think their last mile was 38 seconds faster than their first, which is exactly what we talked about ahead of time. They ran the efforts we wanted at the time we wanted it. So, uh, yeah, we're really pleased with both of them. And Ellie's healthy, feeling good. Um, so it was a nice confidence boost knowing that there's more in the tank there. Um, you know, we're really pleased. All right, Gary, thank you. Thanks.